Hey everybody, Wes from Colton RV here. I uh, just want to introduce the new latest member of the family to the Airstream. It's going to be their brand new gas coach on a Dodge Promaster series, the Range Line. So this is our first model of this unit. Uh, Airstream kind of unveiled this thing back over in September at Hershey and we're super excited to finally have one of these things. Uh, a couple things about this coach, it's going to basically be kind of for your outdoor enthusiast. Um, has some great cargo storage that I'll show you guys in a moment and a lot of really cool features that, um, that you don't typically normally get in a gas coach for the price point that it is. So we're going to start here on the outside, kind of take you through and uh, then we'll take a look on the inside and show you guys all that stuff as well. So uh, starting here up in the front, um, again you're going to be on the Dodge Ram Promaster series, very widely used uh, chassis for a Class B, uh, very typical for a gas coach. This is going to be the 2022 chassis. Um, they are planning on building this with the, 20, the new Dodge Ram chassis that's coming out here in 23, but there really isn't going to be a whole lot of changes to it overall. Um, as you guys come around the side here, um, Airstream gives you the nice rudder bars here to step up into the coach. Uh, they make this at their facility there and attach that on. And if you got uh, any type of pets or anything, they give you a nice little tie station for your uh, fur babies. Uh, if you guys look up at the top here, you'll see a nice LED strip and an awning. Uh, you can actually activate that guy with the uh, button over here. On and off. And then the awning on this guy is going to be a crank type awning, which the tool for that, um, I'll show you guys, will be found in the back. You have the nice sliding door here to get in and out. Of course, that has its own separate lock for it as well. And then when you do have your awning out, um, you have a spot for you to put your poles in one side here and then the other side down on the coach over here. Uh, you can get this coach in two different exterior colors. Um, this is going to be kind of more of their black color for it. And then you can also give it, get it in the silver metallic color as well. Uh, stepping on here through the back, get the two doors, and then Airstream adds this cargo rack to it. So a couple of things you can do to this, um, you know, depending upon what kind of outdoor activities you're into, whether it's fishing, um, skiing, things like that, um, you can add that type of equipment onto these bars here. Um, I've seen people hang spare tires off of these. Now you're not going to be able to do that in this particular coach because of the way that the doors close and the fact that these are on the inside, but it does give you a couple of different options as far as storage on here. Above at the top, you're going to see that you're going to have your crank for your awning. And then this guy also even has a nice little fancy uh, drop down screen for you too, if you're just trying to enjoy the outdoors. Uh, your fresh tank fill station for the unit's going to be here. Um, in case anybody was worried about it. If you're going to have to do that at night, it does have a nice little motion detector. So once you pop open these doors, that light will automatically turn on for you. Same thing um, for this particular light over here as well. And then you're also going to find your battery disconnect back here. A little bit different spot. Um, a lot of those you find typically at the start of the coach when you enter. Uh, Airstream's got it put back here. Swooping on through this side. This is probably the coolest part of the range line, in my opinion, is where they have all your hookups. So a normal coach is, you'll find that your city water connection could be here, um, you know, your black tank flush could be there, your plug-in could be over there. They basically kind of drill into the van itself to add those connections. What Airstream's done is they've done the same thing, only now they hide it for you. So you can actually have this closed. This is just a little magnet to keep open if you're have your equipment attached and shut this guy add your magnet there it's got a nice little screw here and you can just screw that guy all the way in and it just looks like a simple piece of body trim as you're traveling down the road I'll pop that open and kind of go into detail of what you guys are looking at when you're looking at this thing so this is going to be kind of the outside shower for it. It's a spray port. Uh, Airstream will actually give you a nice little coil hose with a sprayer. So this is kind of going to act like your outside shower. If you are at a campground and you want your continuous water, you're going to hook up to your city water connection there. And then, of course, you got your sanitation flush. And then if you're going to do any of this stuff at night, give you a nice little flip-on LED light. Pretty bright, too. Your dump station, pretty self-explanatory. Works 
just like a travel trailer would. You have your gray and your black tank valves to open up those and to empty those out. And then to plug your camper in, um, it's gonna be a 30 amp service on this because it's only one AC. And then Airstream's gonna give you the smart plug technology there. Again, the smart cord, very nice cord that Airstream uses. Very lightweight, super simple just to plug it in. You don't have to worry about cranking anything, trying to lock it in place or anything like that. But very cool design that they did with this. And this is actually their first design of that sort because on their interstate, all those cutouts are again, various locations on this side of the van. Popping open this door here. Gas station fill is gonna be over here for you. And again, this is just gonna be gas unleaded, um, no diesel, nothing like that. Super simple to fill it up. And that's kind of the, the outside. Uh, very basic, very simple. Um, when you guys are ready, we'll take a look at the inside. All right, so first on the inside, I'm gonna show you the back area over here. Uh, the first thing I'd like to point out is the Coleman Mach AC. So this is actually a low profile AC. Um, not gonna make your unit particularly large um, on the top. And not that I'm a super tall guy, but I mean, I got plenty of space to stand back here and I'm not gonna crack my head on the AC. Couple things back here that I'd like to point out for one is the space. So the big design uh, concept for this is gonna be the spacing back here. So if you guys notice on the floor, we have these straps that go across. This is for any type of gear that you might wanna bring with you that you don't want rattling around as you're traveling down the road. So it's simple, easy, like if you have you know, an e-bike that you want to put in here, regular pedal bike, um, fishing equipment, skiing equipment, you know, whatever, you know, pick your poison for whatever you like to do on the outdoors. You know, these tracks right here will give you the option to strap all that stuff down while you're headed down the road. And that doesn't compromise any of the bed space because once you get to where you're at, you can easily set up this bed, which I'll show you guys in a moment. First couple things I do want to point out though, is the cabinetry here. So when you're traveling down the road, Airstream makes it simple and easy to pop these o o open. If you notice the nice latches here and that all these cabinets lock into place. So when you're traveling, you're not gonna hear these cabinets rattling at all. You know, it's a simple motion, click down and in. Same thing with this guy here and the same thing with these over here as well too. So you have a lot of space in these um, overhead storage cabinets. Um, you know, Class Bs don't really have a ton of outside storage, if any at all, on most of their units. And they do try to maximize absolutely everything that they can do in this unit with these type of cabinets here. Uh, a couple other things to point out back here. They do give you some nice little storage pockets in here. Um, again, you can drop this down to black out when you're sleeping. And you also can unzip to have the screen feature. This guy will drop down too as well. These are all just simple Velcro uh, straps here that you can put right onto the windows. So very simple to operate. And then you have another couple storage compartments down here as well. So again, gives you just a couple more options to just put a few more things. You know, Airstream could have, you know, put some stuff here and which this doesn't really make it usable, but they did not do that. Uh, I'd also like to point out on this guy um, you have sublighting here on the floor, and when you're not actually using it, these lights will shut off. And then, like, let's say you get up in the middle of the night, you can't find your light switch that's actually going to be on your multiplex wiring over here. As soon as you step down, your subfloor lighting is actually going to light right up because of the motion detector, which is you know, a pretty cool feature of this. So I think I'm going to show you guys how the bed works now, because um, I know space is everything in these type of vehicles. And a lot of people wonder what the bed looks like. So I'm gonna show you how easy that is to get this down and into the bed feature. So the first thing I'd like to point out is when you're traveling on the road here, it's a simple two latch system where this uh, bottom base bed locks in. And then if you need any additional uh, support to keep that in there, there's actually two Velcro straps in there as well that you can pull over to make sure that this isn't gonna flop out um, while you're traveling in case you do have some kind of expensive equipment here. So let me show you guys how this is gonna work. The bed is as simple as this. Put your hands under here, lift it right out of the two um, latches. This guy's got hinges right down the middle and then it's got the appropriate holes right here to rest this into place. So 
this is now exposed and then you can flip your mattress over like so and it's as simple as that to complete your bed nice easy and simple so once you get to where you're at unload your gear bam your bed is down in no time and then to get it back flip this mattress back there's actually two velcro straps like this on the corners of your mattress i can't get that one at this point but that's okay lift this guy straight back up hinge it here in the center and then you're going to put it right back into its place and then again if you need any extra support you can just lay those straps right in there and that will give you extra support while you're driving so this doesn't fall down on you but pretty simple pretty easy uh, a couple of the other things i'd like to point out back here um, this is actually going to be where your fresh tank is stored along with your timberline hot water heater system so it's going to have hydronic heating this coach so it makes for a very quiet um, heating system you have two different zones for this you have a zone back here and then you have a zone up front and then for any of you guys that aren't, aren't familiar with the timberline system Airstream also uses in a few other of their coaches. Um, it's not a propane based system um, at all. So there's actually no propane in this coach whatsoever. To go along with that hydronic heating, if you have to fill your levels in here, it's super easy. You don't have to do anything on the outside. Airstream gives you this nice plastic cap. The reservoir is right down in here. Pop it open, fill it up, and you're good to go. And you just put this cap right back on. So. Great job during their design process to make that easy for anybody that would like to purchase this coach. Put that bed back up on there like so. Uh, if you notice, you actually have a master switch here. Um, so Airstream uses a multiplex wiring system in here. So this guy actually will pop off the wall. It's a Bluetooth system that works with this and the master controller there. And simple, powered by a, a watch battery. Um, fun fact too of this particular unit, if you just want to hook up your phone to it with the Firefly system, you can absolutely just do that as well too. So then that way you don't have to worry about any of these controls. You can do it all from the comfort of your smartphone. Of course, it's Android and Apple friendly. And there even is a nice little charging station back here for your phone, uh, whichever you might have. Uh, the next thing I want to point out in this unit is going to be the pantry space. So you're going to have some nice space in there. Shelves are adjustable. Um, you know, you can use that for any type of storage you want. Airstream kind of made it for your pantry, uh, for food and, you know, whatever else you plan on bringing with you there. And then as some of you might have noticed when I set up the bed, there is quite a distance between the floor and the top of the bed. Well, Airstream was thinking about that, too. So they gave you a nice little step that you can pull out to get yourself on the bed as well. Step right on here, right on into the bed. And then they even gave you a nice little secret compartment in there as well for more storage. Lock that stairway. Uh, looking over here at the fridge, equip this thing with a pretty decent sized fridge. Um, this is gonna be a 12 volt fridge or, or you can just run it on your, you know, your normal 110 as well. You know, Airstream has kind of done away with that um, electric propane option uh, base fridges. They give you a nice little microwave in this guy too. Uh, it's not going to give you a ton of space in there, but at least gives you some options for cooking. And then again, you have a couple of nice little cubbies tucked away here for more storage and whatever you want to use it for. Uh, the bathroom is pretty cool. So they designed this nice little sliding door here easy to operate and then when you're traveling so that thing isn't rattling you can just strap it right in, into place now again not the tallest gentleman in the world but you know i fit in here no problem at five seven and you even have a nice little drop sink in here that you can set up as well along with your shower a mirror and then of course your toilet looping over here into the galley they give you a nice um, deep seated stainless steel sink so for the size of this thing of the counter it's actually pretty deep and it's all nice and stainless steel and then they give you a ton of different storage options in here i mean you got 
all different types of pull-out drawers here. Did a great job designing the scally, making it so that you can utilize all these different spaces. Gonna get your true induction cooktop with this. So because there's no propane in this coach, there's no propane uh, burners in here. So this coach is actually operated, comes standard with lithium batteries. Now the lithium batteries that are standard with it, it's not gonna be able to run the whole coach um, itself. It does come with a 2.8 kilowatt uh, gas generator that will just run off the power of your fuel tank there. But this is gonna be your cooking station. You can set this guy right up on the counter if you want. And if you're wondering, well, where am I gonna plug it in? Well, they thought of that too. Yeah, USB, all types of plugs there for anything that you need to plug in, including your true induction cooktop as well. And then all this stuff is easily stowed away with some click buttons. The other thing that I kind of really like about this too is the fact that you can actually get your head under here and your hands under here. Um, you know, if you are going to wash your hands in here instead of the bathroom sink, you know, and a lot of coaches, sometimes you're kind of angled out and you can't get your face under here. And this coach, absolutely plenty of room to do so. And then again, Airstream really thinking with these little cubbies here. I mean, you can use this as a spice rack, um, utensils, you know, whatever you want to use it for. You know, this could have just been blank space, but, you know, Airstream likes to take it the extra mile and really give you uh, um, as much storage as possible. You know, you have this cool little touch light here easy to activate and you might notice the JBL Bluetooth speaker. So because this thing doesn't have any type of outside speakers on it, you know, they wanted to give you some options in case you're a music lover or trying to listen to a podcast or a sporting event, you know, this JBL speaker can easily come off. It's portable, uh, it's waterproof, and you can take this guy wherever you want to, hook it up to your phone or whatever are, um, you plan on doing with it. Uh, if you notice these guys, they're just little little racks here that you can I mean, you can hang stuff on if you need to, clothes, um, towels, whatever you want to do with them. You know, again, just thinking a little bit outside the box, Airstream. Um, I think one of the coolest things, though, is their seating section here. So this table is really, really awesome. I'm going to show you guys why. So the first thing about this table is... You actually don't need to have it in this position. In fact, it doesn't even need to be here at all. So if you're traveling and you have passengers with you and they're gonna be sitting here, um, you can actually take this table out and move it in the back. It's on a track system here and you can slide this towards you, you can slide it away from you, or you can take it off the track in general, which I think is really brilliant when you're talking about you know, a coach like this and you have extra people and that way they're not exactly cramped in here while they're traveling. The other cool thing about this is when you have it parked and you are going to use this table, you know, you got a nice little workstation here. If you want to add, I got to kind of slide out of here, but you can add extra room to it by this handy little flip button here at the bottom. make the table longer. And that works out perfectly because up in front here, both of these um, chairs up here will swivel for you. So they'll swivel completely around. So you may have any type of company with you, anything like that, um, you know, they can be facing you. You know, if you guys wanna play cards here, you wanna eat dinner here, lunch, whatever, all that's super possible with this table. And it's nice and easy to operate. All it is is a simple lever hinge here, and then just adjusting the table and it locks right into place wherever you're, you know, whatever position you're gonna have it in. So I'll put that guy back. And then to take this off the rails, it's really simple. All you gotta do is just lift it up, that silver button pops out, and then you can just pull this thing off. I don't wanna do that right now, but that is an absolute possibility on this coach here. Um, if you're traveling and you got any uh, children and they need car seats those of course will fit in here as well and then you have two seat belts here for two additional passengers uh, the decor for this is going to be their navel color um, you can get the furniture um, done in a gray color as well uh, i think they call it the gray moonstruck is what it's called 
Um, so you do have a different interior color for your furniture as well. And then Airstream also upholsters the driver and passenger chair up there to match the same color as the seat here as well too. Uh, your laminate colors don't change should you go with the other color. Um, the laminate colors you see here, those all are going to stay the same. Uh, in fact, the only really option for this coach is whether you want a pop top camper or not. So the pop top is actually uh, ever increasing demand for those um, as the Class B market expands and you know more people are looking to get out there and go camping and bring more friends with them. The pop top is a really cool option. So they basically put it in the roof area up here and then it will add an extra bed in the roof of this camper itself. This particular one does not have it, um, but that can be ordered uh, for this particular unit as well. Uh, I'd like to point out the floor on this too. So Airstream uses their vinyl woven material. So it's a pretty, pretty durable floor, easy to clean should you get it stained. Uh, you know, if you track mud in here or anything like that, you can get a simple rag, splay some cleaner on it or water, wash it right away. Uh, nice and easy to clean this floor up. Same type of flooring that they use in uh, their Airstream Interstate, you know, their Classic, their Globetrotter, same, same design concept. Uh, they also give you as well a um, couple of things from Airstream that are cool. You know, they'll give you your sewer hose for it. They give you your outside shower. They give you a bunch of shades in order to cover this stuff up. Uh, your front, your side windows, and all those as well. Um, so if you're worried about sleeping, they give you a shade for all that stuff for you so you're not going to have all that light coming in at night. Um, would like to show you guys the control panels here. So we got two different ones. So your main one it, for your coach is gonna be this here. So you're gonna be able to operate things like your lights, you have a day and a night mode. I'll tell you how um, full your tanks are and all your tanks in this coach are heated. So this is a complete vehicle where if you wanted to take this thing out in colder weather, you absolutely can do that, no problem. All tanks are heated in this. Um, again, lithium standard, but you're still gonna need a generator to run like your higher wattage appliance, like your AC. So this is gonna be kind of like your master control panel for everything, nice, simple touchscreen display. Your next panel here is gonna basically be for your Timberline hot water heater system. Again, all touchscreen, you have two zones. For some reason they have zone one and three, they don't call it two, not sure why, but that's okay. Um, control your, all, all your functions will be here for the heater and then this is also going to be for your water element as well too and you know this is all stuff that if you purchase one of these guys from us we all show you how to use it as well um the only other thing left i guess to show you guys is up front and in the in the cockpit area all right so we're here in the cockpit of the range line and there's a couple things i'll point out to you guys um you know one you got the all digital uh dash system here um, from Dodge, so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, of course, you got cruise control. You can set all those functions right here from the steering wheel. Uh, whether you got Apple or Android, doesn't matter. Um, this car has uh, Android Auto or has Apple CarPlay. Uh, activate your phone right here from the steering wheel as well, too. A um, couple of cool things right here. You're going to notice the big in-screen um, monitor. So this is gonna give you all your functions at your vehicle. In-house navigation, um, as well as AM, FM radio, satellite radio, Sirius XM. Um, super easy um, to hook up your phone to this guy as well. Um, you can hit the different functions here. Comfort, of course, is gonna give you the temperature, AC, and heat of your upfront dash here. Uh, the navigation system, really nice. Uh, you can pair your phone over there and then sliding over to vehicle this is going to show you all the different um, safety features that come with this so you have automatic emergency braking traffic sign assist assist warning drowsy driver alert blind spot alert and you know of course you can shut some of these off if you want to but a lot of cool safety features that come with this particular vehicle itself uh, if you notice up front here this uh, rear view mirror actually is all digital, and that's gonna give you a nice view of what's behind you at any point in time. And also when you're backing this thing up too, the camera angle um, that you got 
is absolutely enormous and you can see everything behind you. So between what shows up on here and here, um, you can be have no problems whatsoever parking this thing or taking it out anywhere. And seats are just gonna be simple manual um, to adjust them. And then again, both of these seats, driver and passenger can swivel if you have company and you wanna hang out with some folks in the back after you're parked. Um, so I guess the thing to do is to get this thing out on the road and, you know, kind of show you guys how it drives. So I'm going to make sure we buckle up for safety first, of course. All right, and off we go. Steering wheel, super nice power steering. No issues there very quiet. Hopefully we have everything secure back there. And again, smaller coach, so you don't really have to worry about, you know, am I too big? How much space am I taking up? I mean, you can park this in any conventional parking spot and will fit. Parking on the street, you, know, you shouldn't have any issues. take this thing to my favorite place, Buffalo Bill Stadium over at Highmark. All right, away we go. Decent pickup for it as well. Step on the gas, it's not sluggish, responds pretty quickly, brakes super nice. And again, I can't stress how cool this is to have everything um, behind me that I can see. You know, typically in a unit um, like this, they give you a rear view mirror and it doesn't really do you any good because it's not digital. Uh, you can see what's behind you in the coach, but you can't really see out the back windows. You know, this, I can see everything perfectly. It does have a manual feature to it as well. Switch it over to the manual and you can you know, manually shift the gears up or down. I'm just going to keep it on automatic. So picking up speed here. Again, I just want to point out, you know, how quiet it is on the inside of the coach. You don't hear anything rattling back there. As long as I secured everything and all the cabinets, nothing should be falling out either, which I don't hear that. This is very smooth, nice and easy to drive. I mean, I'm not stressing about how wide I am, how long I am. I mean, it's as simple as driving a regular car or truck. You hit some bumps, you hear a little rattling, but you know, when the coach is in constant motion, again, really quiet, that's a great thing. If you're gonna be taking any type of long journeys anywhere, you don't want to have any crazy noises. I'm going to be heading under a bridge here. I'm not worried about how tall I am. Typically, these vehicles are about 9'6", nine, 9'5", nine, and they're going to fit under most bridges, no problem. That's the nice thing about Class Bs. Brakes on this, super responsive. I would feel very comfortable taking this vehicle um, if I was just going to do any type of local driving shopping um, or if I was going to take this thing on a long journey somewhere you know I'm not gonna feel like I have to white knuckle this thing I mean it, it handles very smoothly mirrors are great I can see behind me on the sides too as well as that digital cam super easy turning no struggles with the wheel at all. Again, I love it. Just no, no, no rattling at all. I mean, granted, it'd be a little bit different, you know, when you start packing the coach in with some of your cargo, as long as it's secure though, but really quiet. This would probably even be a nice vehicle to take to a sporting event and do some tailgating as well. It's got all the essentials that you need on board. Well, I want to thank everybody uh, for tuning into this video. Uh, we're going to be pretty much wrapping up this test drive on this Airstream range line. Um, headed back to the dealership now. 
you have any questions about this vehicle and you want to come see it in person and you want to test drive it, uh, please feel free to give us a call. Um, you can reach out to me specifically. Uh, again, my name's Wes. I'm the Airstream product manager over here at Colton RV. Um, you, know, you can reach me at my office phone, 716-957-3250. Uh, direct extension to me is gonna be 354. Uh, I'd love to show you this product and get you out there on the road if you're interested in one of these vehicles. Um, we're really excited to have this uh, product for sure. Um, it's at a great price point and we think it's going to be a big hit out there as we progress forward. Airstream is you know, one of the top companies in the RV industry. You know, they put out excellent products in the Class B world and in the travel trailer realm. And we're really hoping that you guys are going to enjoy this product just like we are. Feel free to give me a call anytime. Uh, you can also check it out on the website as well. We'll have pictures and videos available uh, very shortly for it. And again, I'm Wes at Colton RV and look forward to hearing from you on it. Have a great day, guys.